Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we have some mind-blowing news about the upcoming M4 Mac Mini. This year's upgrades are set to make it an unbeatable choice compared to the M2 Mac Mini, which was released less than two years ago. Let's dive into all the details, including the specs, release date, and pricing for this highly anticipated device. First off, the M4 Mac Mini is gearing up for some phenomenal upgrades that will leave the M2 model in the dust. Apple is making significant strides with the M4, incorporating some cutting-edge technology that promises to enhance both performance and efficiency. With the M3's journey wrapping up so swiftly, it's becoming increasingly clear that we won't be seeing an M3 Mac Mini. One of the primary reasons behind this decision is the manufacturing process. The M3 was produced on a more expensive 3NM die called N3E from TSMC. While this was a solid advancement, it came with higher production costs and thermal challenges when pushed to its limits. The exciting news is that the M4 chipset is built on TSMC's new 3NM die, called N3P, which offers impressive single-core and multi-core performance improvements over the M2 and even the M3. This upgrade is truly groundbreaking, but perhaps the most astonishing aspect of the M4 Mac Mini is the RAM configuration. This time around, Apple has introduced 8GB and 16GB RAM options, with the base model featuring 16GB of RAM. Apple has claimed that 8GB of RAM in their systems feels like 16GB due to the efficiency of macOS, but I must say I find this a bit hard to believe. In my experience, 8GB of RAM feels more like 10GB on macOS compared to a Windows system, but certainly not like 16GB. For those curious about the RAM options, Apple continues to offer 8GB in the base configurations of their iPad Pros, with 16GB only available in the higher storage tiers. So will the Mac Mini follow suit and start with 16GB of RAM as its base configuration? Unfortunately, it's unlikely. If I were in Tim Cook's shoes, I would advocate for a minimum of 12GB of RAM as the base amount, especially considering the competition, like the Snapdragon Elite X, which offers 16GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. Looking at Apple's recent trends, we see unconventional RAM configurations such as 18GB for the M3 Pro and 36GB for the M3 Max. Therefore, it's not unreasonable to hope for a base of 12GB of RAM in the M4 Mac Mini, with options for 24GB and beyond. According to industry insiders like Mark Gurman, we're unlikely to see an M3 or M3 Pro Mac Mini at WWDC 2024. Instead, the M4 Mac Mini is expected to launch at the end of 2024 or early 2025, possibly around October, November, or even January 2025. This timeline would mark a two-year gap between the M2 and M4 releases. Regarding the price and specs, we anticipate the design will remain unchanged. The base storage configuration will start at 256GB, with options going up to 4TB for the M4 Pro model. The M4 chipset will feature a 10-core CPU configuration, similar to the current iPad Pro, with potential upgrades to a 12-core CPU for the M4 Pro. GPU cores will range from 12 and up, built on the new 3NM die. RAM options are expected to start at 8GB or 12GB, up to 36GB for the M4 Pro. The M4 Mac Mini will continue to feature an aluminum unibody design with four Thunderbolt 4 ports, two USB 3.2 ports, optional 10GB Ethernet, standard HDMI 2.1, and a starting price of $699. As for the design, don't expect major changes. The Mac Mini will likely retain its current form factor, which aligns with the dimensions of the Mac Studio, albeit with different heights. The current design effectively manages cooling, which is crucial for the higher performance M4 Pro. So what do you think about the upcoming M4 Mac Mini? Are you planning to get one? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. For the latest Apple news, reviews, and comparisons, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Until next time, take care and see you soon.